know, we cheer on our children for every little milestone, every gain. How does a parent respond when it's going in the other direction? Over the last few years of this fight, we have had to watch the disease take things from our child, take her ability to say the alphabet, to sing her favorite songs, and to even tell us when she's hurt. The thing she's lost most, and the one thing we miss the most, is, is hearing her voice. Hearing her say, you know, I love you, Daddy. I mean, it was, that would roll off her tongue, and we'd hug each other. And uh, there's nothing like not hearing that anymore. We fought really hard to make a treatment possible, and because of all of the incredible support we've gotten and everyone rallying around her, Eliza has now been the first patient in the world to receive this new treatment. The simple problem that we have is that there are many, many more children out there than there are available treatments. We have to help them. We can't leave them behind. We need the next miracle now. Eliza lost a lot of skills over the six and a half years that the disease progressed in her. I don't want this disease to progress in any child. You know, we've been given this chance and this hope for a renewed future for Eliza. If you could stop any of this bad stuff from happening to a baby, to a child, why not stop it as soon as possible? Action saves lives. Action creates miracles. My daughter Eliza is proof that miracles can happen.